All right, hey, shalom, akim, shalom. First and foremost, as always, before I get started, I want to start off by giving all praise to our power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rokha HaKudash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and the elders of Great Millstone that have taught us the truth and that are well. And peace and blessings go out to the hopeful members of the elect scattered throughout the four winds of the earth that are in the hopes of receiving salvation during the time of Jacob's trouble. All right. Now, what you just heard me say in the beginning of this video, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, are the true names of the Heavenly Father and of His beloved Son in the Paleo-Hebrew. Okay. The true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God or Jehovah. The name Yahweh means He is or He to be. Bahashem, Ba means in, Ha means the, and Shem means name. In the name of His Son Yahweh Shai. Okay who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ or Yeshua. The name Yahweh Shai means he delivers or the deliverer. Like I said, Bahashim means in the name. Racha means spirit and Kodash means holy. All right. And this video is brought to you via the inspiration of the Holy Spirit to continue to prophesy into our nations of the events that are coming down the pipe very soon and to further speak upon points that accompany prophet, uh, excuse me, salvation. All right. And um, pretty much the premise of this video came through uh, as I was watching the beloved Apostle Street Ministry. And the beloved Apostle Gabar had brought out this scripture in the book of Luke chapter 12 verse 50 regarding the allotment and the prophecy that our Lord and Savior Yahweh had to fulfill of giving himself up as that living sacrifice for our nation. All right. And... Pretty much uh, what I got from it is just having the same mindset that our Lord had, man. And just like the beloved Apostle Dahar quoted and told the Apostles a couple years back, and they always make mention of it, okay? Apostle Tahar told them that you have to learn how to love to suffer, okay? And that's pretty much uh, pursuing to the book of Second Ezra, the 7th chapter, and the 57th verse, alright? This is the condition of the battle. All right, where he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey to the entire world that is predicated upon the jurisdiction of the so-called white man whose biblical nationality goes back to Edom. All right, we have to suffer the same allotment that our Lord and Savior Yahweh I went through under the same people that were in rulership, the Edomites. All right, during the time of Yahweh it was the Roman Empire, and in this time, where the elect that hold the testimony of Yahweh Shai and have been endowed the mysteries, all right? We hold the same allotment of being in the remodeled slash regenerated Roman Empire known as America, all right? In the Bible, it's referred to uh, the, Bab uh, the Babylonian, Salakia, Babylon, all right? The daughter of Babylon. So, uh, Lord's will, this video is edifying and straight to the point as brothers should... Um, tell by the you know surrounding sound i'm in i'm in an in transit so abaratiza um i'll be able to pull these scriptures out in time and bring forth edification but this is the book of luke chapter 12 and the point is in the 50th verse but what sparked my um my spirit to just make more light upon this uh scriptures is if you go up one verse okay it says luke 12 verse 49 I am come to send fire on the earth. All right. And that's the earnest expectation of the creature. Matter of fact, let me grab that scripture. All right. As being Israelites. All right. Descendants of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. We want salvation to come. All right. And by the means of how salvation is going to come is by this empire. All right. That is predicated upon an anti-Messiah way of living founded upon Satanism, being destroyed, all right? This is the book of Romans 8 and 19. It says, For the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manis manifestation of the sons of God, all right? Verse 20, For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who has subjected the same in hope, all right? That's the condition of the battle. We want America to be destroyed. 
every day, you know? Just like our forefather Lot was vexed by the filthy conversation of the wicked. Well, guess what? We stand in the same stead because we live in a society that is spiritually Sodom and Egypt, okay? But we understand that by us wanting salvation, a set stipulation has to follow in order to receive it, all right? And this is what Yahweh later on says, uh, reading verse 49 says, Salakia, um, yeah, verse 49, it says, I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I if it be already kindled, all right? So Yahweh once the nuclear missiles hit America and the other parts of the earth, He's bringing more man okay but before salvation before we see all right lord's will where the elect that are watching through the firmament of america being destroyed before that happens verse 50 this is what has to take place but i have a baptism to be baptized with all right and how am i straightened till it be accomplished all right now reading it in the NLT, it says, I have a terrible baptism of suffering ahead of me. And we all know the amounts of straits that our Lord and Savior Yahweh I went through as we read the Gospel of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Okay? Yahweh went through He went through the mud, man. Okay? It says, I have a terrible baptism of suffering ahead of me. And I am under a heavy burden until it is accomplished, all right? And we, pursuant to the book of Matthew, the 11th chapter, have put on the same yoke that Yahweh Shai went through, all right? As a matter of fact, um, Salaki, going to Romans 8 and, um, where is it at, man? 17, it says, and if children, all right, Romans 8 and matter of fact yeah 17 and if children then hairs hairs of the heavenly father and joint hairs with the anointed if so be that we suffer with them that we may be also glorified together all right so there is a duality once again in order to receive salvation we got to go through the same suffering that our lord and savior how wish i went through all right so let's read that luke 12 and 50 again it says, I have, uh, in the NLT, I have a terrible baptism of suffering ahead of me, okay? And the baptism that Yahweh I went through was of giving his testimony to the disciples, okay? And giving himself up as that sacrifice to give us the comforter and pursuing through the book of Revelation, the fifth chapter, taking off the seals. Matter of fact, let's grab that scripture next, all right? Revelation 5 and 5. It says, And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the book and to loosen the seven seals thereof. And I behold, Salaki, and I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain okay having seven horns and seven eyes which are the seven spirits of the heavenly father sent forth into the earth okay which is symbolic for the churches like it tells you in the book of um, revelation the um, the first chapter all right around the last couple verses there if i'm not mistaken it says verse seven and he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne and when he had taken the book the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. All right? And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to the Heavenly Father by the blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. All right? And has made us unto our power kings and priests and we shall reign on the earth all right so that sacrifice that our lord and savior yahweh is very crucial man all right because without it we would just like it tells in the book of isaiah the first chapter man if it wasn't for the sure mercies uh you 
you know, loosely paraphrasing it. I'm not saying it uh, word for word, but if it weren't for the Heavenly Father having that characteristic of being compassionate and merciful to his nation, we should have been likened unto Sodom and Gomorrah, man. All right, a monument to the rest of the world of a disobedient nation, okay? So at the end of the day, having that understanding of what our Lord and Savior did for us should really continue to give us um, more passion to continue to endure harness as a good soldier, you know? That's what puts more coals to our spirit, so to speak, to continue to keep our fire going, all right? Continuing to endure the tribulations that go our path and understanding that just how our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai was made perfect through suffering is the same process that we're going through right now, okay? So from there, I want to go to the book of um, Psalms 123 and starting at the top. It says, a song of degrees unto thee lift, I'm sorry, uh, a song of degrees, all right? Unto thee lift I up my eyes, O thou that dwellest in the heavens. Behold, as the eyes of servants look into the hand of their masters, and as the eyes of a maiden unto the hands of her mistress, so our eyes wait upon the Lord, our power. All right, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? That's the mindset that the elect have every single day. Waiting upon the Heavenly Father, and like we read in Romans the 8th chapter, waiting for the, um, the earnest expectation of the creature is for the uh, sons of God to make themselves manifest, all right? And by us patiently waiting, we have a set agenda to continue to follow, okay? Just like Yahweh Shai told his disciples to watch for the signs, all right? This is what we're supposed to be doing as servants, waiting for our master to make his arrival. It says, So our eyes wait upon the Lord our power, until that he have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord. Have mercy upon us, for we are exceedingly filled with contempt, okay? And we all have the days where we, we're in uttermost contempt of this society that we live in, man, okay? When you go into the word contempt, it goes back to the Hebrew um, word 937, bawaz, okay? Which means springing from evil, prosperity, all right? To despise, hold in contempt, all right? Every single day, we got to deal with that burden of living another day in this, uh, you know, society predicated upon nothing but folly, man, all right? But once again, we got to have the same mindset that our Lord had, okay? Of understanding that, look, we're here on a simple mission, and that is to do the will of our Father, okay? And in this time, that is doing the bidding of Yahweh Shai. Okay, to go out in the highways and byways, bidding the nation of Israel to the marriage and gathering up his lost sheep. Okay, and continuing to have, <clears throat> excuse me, the same mindset as our Lord, man. Okay, this is the book of Philippians, chapter 2, and verse 5. It says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Yahweh Shach HaMashiach, okay? Pretty much Apostle Paul saying, look, keep this mind, keep this in your mind as you, matter of fact, let me read it in NLT, it says it a lot better than I do. It says, you must have the same attitude that Yahweh Shach HaMashiach had, okay? Point blank period. Verse 6, uh, jumping back to the KJV. Who being in the form of the Most High, thought it not robbery to be equal with the Heavenly Father. Alright? But made himself of no reputation. Rightfully said, man. Okay? Just like Apostle Paul wrote uh, to the Church of Rome in the 11th chapter. Okay? The reason as to why we've been enlightened to this truth, the whole means as to how we have the understanding of us being Israelites is by grace, man, not by our own works, because if it was, then grace would be dead, okay? So at the end of the day, boast, being in that boastful spirit is something that you got to check yourself on, 
Alright? So if you have that kind of spirit, examine thyself. Okay? It says, verse 7 again from the top, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. Okay? Once again, building our spirit likewise to how our forefather moved when he was in the flesh, okay? In the likeness of a man. Verse 8, And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. All right? And once again, tying in to the allotment of how the elect have to fulfill prophecy in this time, we're walking in that same position. All right? Having to be martyrs for the name and the testimony of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, but once again, having the same mindset of our Lord. Okay, verse nine it says, "Wherefore the heavenly Father also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name." Okay, and just like we read in Romans uh, eight, and if I'm not mistaken, the we're on the twentieth verse, man. Okay, for we can't reckon the amount of glory and status that the Heavenly Father through His Son Yahweh is going to give us for the suffering that we're going to go through. Okay, it's going to be incomparable to the amount of glory, man. All right, and by you having that mindset as you continue to walk and conduct yourself in this valley of dry bones, it gives you a sense of peace man okay always going back to the comforter and understanding this is the walk of an Israelite man all right fearing the Heavenly Father and keeping his commandments and not bucking against anything that the Heavenly Father has commanded us to do man all right as well as not bowing our knees to anything that this society has to offer okay of course we do what we got to do in this world we subject ourselves to the higher powers but at the end of the day when it comes to our relationship with the Heavenly Father we're not gonna let nothing get in the midst of that and compromise what we have with the Most High man okay reading verse 9 again it says wherefore the Heavenly Father also has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name that at the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. All right. Verse 11. And that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai HaMashiach is Lord to the glory of the Heavenly Father. I'm sorry, to the glory of Yahweh the Father. Okay. And that in essence, once again, is the mindset to have. Everything that we, you know, we get from the world whether it be some kind of kudos or something we thank the heavenly father man because once again it's by grace that we are where we are right now man not of our own works at all okay we're just simply we're vessels that the heavenly father has sought to fulfill his will verse 12 and i'm going to close with this one it says wherefore my beloved as ye have always obeyed not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. All right? And this is the attitude that we should have, if not all, all, every day, man. All right? Every day we should have this spirit upon us as we conduct ourselves in the valley of the shadow of death, bro. Because, once again, weighing everything in the balance. We live in a society that is contrary to the doings of the Heavenly Father. And having an inheritance of righteousness, we should be displeased with everything that America has to offer, okay? So continue to have the mindset of learning how to... Let me uh, rephrase that. Learning how, uh, learning how to love to suffer, okay? Or... It's lucky if I say that uh, incorrectly. But yeah, learning how to love to suffer, man, okay? Because not only does it show 
that we're on the same path that our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai went down into. But at the end of the day, it's glory to the Heavenly Father. Okay? It's a pleasing scent to the Heavenly Father's, uh, you know, nose. All right? Just like back in the day with the uh, temple, we would give sacrifices for sin. All right? Well, in this time, the sacrifice that we're putting forth is ourself. All right? Neglecting the lust of the flesh and ultimately neglecting what we want to do. All right? So with that, Lord's will, this video is edifying straight to the point. I just wanted to say a couple words on uh, that beautiful scripture, man. All right? We're in the same stead as Yahweh Shai. We're going to catch hell every single day. But at the end of the day, we understand that our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai already did it. All right? So with that, giving all praise to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukha HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and the elders of Great Millstone that have taught us the truth in the Ruel. And peace and blessings go out to the hopeful members of the elect scattered abroad the four winds of the earth.